Um, heading now to one of my favorite places ever in the city, here in Manila. And um, I'm always happy to take you here. All right, guys, here we are once again at one of my favorite places ever. My boy squad, welcome to Cardamar Pet Market. Yes, I've taken you guys here several times, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's a massive, massive pet market. And I know a lot of people aren't really, like there's a lot of ethical stuff behind pet markets and pet shops in general. Um, but I come here to get um, a lot of equipment, which I need today. And random like pet items. Wow, check out those stingrays. Massive goldfish. Beautiful discus, betas, albino oscars with wow long tails. Guys, it's just stalls and stalls of fish, creatures, pets, aquariums. You can custom design aquariums here, pet food. Um, this is just a fish section. Salt water, look at that, wild. Incredible, right? If you go back in our vlogs, you've seen that we've seen a lot of these fish in the wild but they're really gorgeous to look at. Ooh, flower horn, guys. Isn't that a beautiful fish? For those of you who are new to flower horn, I think this is like a synthetic kind of fish. Like this was bread. It's a bread form of fish. And they have this huge like bulge on their head and they can get very expensive depending on breed and like variation, etc. Discus looks so nice in a spacious setup. Look at that. So peaceful. And guys, check out this arowana. <gasps> Gorgeous. This tank is too small for it though, I think. Do you guys watch the channel King of DIY? If you don't and you love fish, you really should. Love his channel. Fellow Canadian too. Oh, such a cute cat. It's such a small cage. This is where it gets sad, guys. I mean, I'm sure they're not here 24 seven and they're bought pretty fast, like turnover for these places is really, really fast. But it's still sad. Look at, oh, you got rats, bunnies, oh, budgies, African lovebirds. Been thinking of possibly getting a small community of African lovebirds for the future aviary. What do you guys think? And of course, you've got some cockatiels here. Beautiful birds, love them. All right, so for parrot like seed mix and nut mix, gonna try this. Originally was using this brand, but gonna try feeding Legaya, my African gray parrot, this mix. It's apparently an African parrot mix. So, I don't know, we'll see. There are some nuts, tree nuts in here that the guy has problems like breaking open, like the walnuts and the big almond nuts with the shell. So I'm gonna try this new brand. And look at this, they sell various seed mixes by bulk or package, you see? Canary premium seed mix, and it's so cheap. Look at all these, look at all these sunflower seeds. Now, Tita Nora, the breeder of Lagaya, said not to buy open seed mix because it apparently holds a lot of dust sometimes. So I don't buy my seeds out in the open like this. Man, these birds are noisy! <laughs> Imagine having a ton of birds in the aviary and having to hear all of this bird noise. Wow. My oh boy, I thought we have a friend here. Oh all right. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Paul, Paul. Paul, nice to meet you. All right. Because we're Filipino, we're, we're, we're taking pictures. My parrot? Oh, Legaya? She's yes. at home. Like What's your name? Yeah. Renzo. Hi, Renzo. Thank yeah, thanks, guys. Oh, this cockatoo is in such a small cage and no toys. So sad. Honestly, when we have the aviary, I'm gonna possibly rescue birds. Like, the aviary in our future home is gonna be six meters by six meters, which is massive. So we have the space. Oh, and its wings are clipped. No toys. But apparently this bird is sold and the guy's coming to pick it up soon. Still sad. Oh. 
such a cute, cute cockatoo. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so, you're so precious. For those of you who are watching who might be curious about our future aviary, which will be built in the center of the Mabuhai Squad home, which is being built this year, be sure to watch yesterday's vlog. Epic plans, guys. What are they catching here? Oh, I got splashed. What is it? Oh, koi. Oh, this is where they keep koi. Wow. RJ, are we gonna get a koi pond? What do you think? Oh, wow, 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 this is awesome. Look at this setup, guys. He's got java moss attached to the wood, and there's like a water pump that pumps water down this piece of wood and into a lower portion where he's got more moss and plants. And then there's a steam maker, a mist maker inside that creates this mist. What a setup. Love that. Man, there's nothing like a well-designed aquarium or terrarium, right guys? Look, look how peaceful that looks. Just awesome. I see rummy nose tetras, I see guppies in there, skinny monkeys. Beautiful. Wow, look at this setup all the way at the back of the store. Like, look at this. No one ever comes back here. But they've got a gorgeous setup way back here. <gasps> awesome. Discus. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Unreal. You got plants for sale. See that? Awesome. Of course, cute puppies. Endless puppies. All I see is its butt. Hello. Oh, cute puppies. Oh, why so upset? What's up? Let's talk, kitty. You all right? Hmm? I love cats. Like, I grew up around dogs, so I'm a dog person. But. Cats are also very cool. Look at how cute they are. So adorable. And they're always modeling. Like you can't take a bad cat picture. Seriously. They are so Instagrammable. And they're just so cute. You guys are always so cute. Yeah. But your poo smells. And guys, this place sells driftwood for days. It's literally a uh, terrarium builder's haven. They've got all sorts of amazing soils, mediums, rocks. You see that? I love snooping through all of their driftwood. It's just like endless driftwood and rocks. This is, this is paradise. Also looking into buying one of these. If you're following the Ants Canada channel, we've got some really epic games coming up with some rhino beetles. Um, and the games are really awesome. I've got several planned. Um, and each event, it's kind of an Olympics kind of thing. Uh, each event represents a challenge that these beetles have to contend with in the wild. So I kind of need a competition sort of like arena space. And I'm thinking of probably getting this one over this one. It'll really depend on price. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give us a good price. All right. I absolutely love this store. It's called Pet City. Quality is very good at this store. I buy a lot of the stuff for Ants Canada here, including the animals. They get good stock uh, for animals and they're very reliable. Guys, check out these neat land crabs. Look at their eyes. Aren't they awesome? The eyes are like a bright, sort of like yellow, orangish yellow. Look at them. They're so cool looking things. I would love to keep crabs. AC family, should I get some crabs? Would you guys watch videos on crabs? Of course, I wouldn't mix them with the ants as the ants would obliterate them. But maybe a future setup might be able to accommodate them. We'll see. They're called yellow vampire crabs. How neat. Wow, Mabu High Squad, check out this crab. It's called a red carnival crab. How awesome. Okay, I'm highly considering getting a, creating a crab community. <gasps> this is bad. Oh boy. I would love for the AC family, for all of us to see what land crabs are like. And apparently they don't need a body of water. They just need kind of like, see like swamp-like, bog-like conditions. Just really moist medium and some Spanish moss. How neat. Hmm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at that face. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, look how gorgeous these setups are. Wow. Oh my. 
Okay, this is too much fish for this space, but I, I'm sure they're gonna be selling them. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? He's got giant duckweed up here. I see African fern or something. Bird's nest fern. You see that? Up here. Awesome. Pothos growing here. The plants continue down here and their roots and like all those fish. Oh, it's just amazing. And then if you look way at the back there, you'll see some giant Corydoras. Huge. They're like an inch and a half long. Amazing. Oh, and there's an angelfish right here. <laughs> it just boggles my mind that all of this stuff is alive. You know what I'm saying? And like, see, even the life extends into the decorations outside of the water. That moss is attached there. This moss grew on this wood. And that takes a lot of time and like the right conditions. See, the moss is growing right out of the wood. <gasps> it's just gorgeous. Talk about de-stressing, right? Just by looking at this peaceful piece of nature. And guys, this is another one of my absolute favorite places here in Cardemar, which is the plant nursery. All the plants that you need. Orchids, Guzmania, Bromeliads, Diffenbacha, even like poisonous plants. <laughs> It's amazing what they have here. Cacti and succulents, bamboo, see that? Money plant, it's really gorgeous. Look at all that. Orchids, love this. Flowers, Oh, look at this kitty playing with a little pine cone. <laughs> Just adorable. Man, I'm a big sucker for succulents. What? <laughs> love them so much, they're so rubbery. Again, plant nurseries like this are a terrarium maker's heaven. <gasps> Look at this, guys. Look at this. Air plants. See that? They thrive off, they don't need soil. They create air roots and they absorb moisture from the air and you just spray them. That's how they survive. Isn't that awesome? Telangias, they're called. Gorgeous. Mabuhay squad, we have a friend here. Hi, what's your name? I'm Victoria Lapan. Ah, nice to meet you, Victoria. Hi. All right. And are you here shopping for plants? Yes, I am looking for um, dwarf snake plants that oh. I could just place in my living room. Awesome. Dwarf yeah. snake plant. Amazing. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, nice meeting you. Good luck on finding your dwarf snake plant. <laughs> OMG, how cute. Mommy succulent and baby succulents coming out from the bottom. Adorable. Who'd ever thought that plants would be adorable, right? <laughs> so there you have it, guys. A complete tour of Cardamar, all my favorite places to go. Um, and if you're ever in Manila, come check out Cardamar, of course. There's a lot of people who are against these pet markets, but it is a great place to buy pet supplies, to buy decorations for terrariums and stuff. Um, and there are some places that are legit that really do have the animals welfare in mind. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this vlog and uh, give this vlog a like too, if you enjoyed it. Join our family, our Mabuhay squad. Yes, I'm gonna continue to do more shopping here Look at this dog. I am so sad right now. It's in this little crate. It just wants me to pet it. Yeah, don't worry, I'll pet you. Oh, it looks part Jack Russell Terrier. Like my dog, rest in peace, Kuya. Oh, my childhood dog. He reminds me of my, actually, my adolescent dog. Oh, you're so adorable. I would take you. If, if I could. Look at your nails, they're so long. Oh, this dog just wants love. Oh, I gotta go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Oh, breaks my heart. All right guys, so I'm back home and I am totally freaking out right now and disgusted. Okay guys, Mumbu High Squad. Don't panic. 
because I am right now. Remember this, the, the pimple. I finally know what it is. And it's so gross. Okay guys, my boy squad, I've discovered that this is not a pimple. I think it is.